American education system from the top down has just went really into the toilet in a lot of ways. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about the Ivy League schools, but I'm talking about just everything else. It's just in the toilet. And people are so ignorant in this freaking country. Ignorant. I'm telling you, I, I, it's, just, it's like this country thrives on ignorance. And that's so dangerous. If I had to be the leader of a, of a country, I want my people educated. I want my people, because an educated population can actually help innovate the country. I don't want a bunch of people that don't know nothing. No, uh-uh. I want people that's smart, especially my doctors and lawyers and my scientists. I want them to have the best of the best. I don't want them getting broke going to school, of course, because I would be seeking to pay for it, right? All my people that's really doing some stuff, I, I say, yeah, let's pay for that because we need the best of the best here. But, of course, our government don't think like that because they want a bunch of dummies and racists running around. And also, let me tell you something. The new racism that you deal with today, because, you know, at one point in time, you know, traditionally, you would focus on, you know, uh, the white supremacists themselves. But the new racism is coming from all these other people who got some color to them. And I always say that. They, they, they have positioned themselves as the new whites. They may not be European. But they position themselves as the new whites because in their mind, they white. That's why they view us the way they view us. And it's dangerous for us as black people to be even going to their health care like that. Um, we need to find black doctors as much as possible. We need to find some. And